Hey guys, my name is Paul Kwan. I'm the senior footwear designer at America. Um, we're here to talk to the Americana, Leo Romero's new shoe. You approached me to do a shoe, um, something like this a while back. I feel like you're the one that hit me up that was like, had an yeah, idea. They, they asked actually. me if I wanted to do a new shoe instead of trying to come up with something brand new. I thought, because I always get hit up on social media and just other stuff by kids like that I should bring back this shoe because they liked it so much and it did so well. When you guys were doing this one, like what was the inspiration and stuff? Like, <laughs> the, the funny thing about this it, one was that I, they, it was time for me to do a shoe and they had basically three or four blank shoes, if I can remember correctly. And they were kind of gearing towards this silhouette. They're like, we kind of want to do a shoe like this with, what is this called? Like the, It's a blue chair, yeah, like where the, you know, the two sides come over the toe. Yeah, so, so they had a silhouette like that because the America didn't have anything that looked like this. So they kind of wanted to branch off into this avenue, which I think what, it's like a more sporty. Yeah, it's like of. tennis shoes, yeah, back so, in the court shoes. So the, the silhouette that they had looked the best out of the other ones. I mean, that's like, I feel like that's very your aesthetic, like, Simple patterning, not too many frills or bells and whistles. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stuff. simple yeah. when it comes to, to most of my shit. Yeah, yeah, so when I saw this this silhouette, it was like, yeah, there's not much to it. And then they added just barely two stripes to just to kind of give it an even more like unique look. But I think as far as Vulcanize, I don't think there was many Vulcanize shoe in the line other than maybe the Reynolds 3, I think. The thing that was kind of really cool about it was the fact that it was so thin compared to most shoes that were out now. So, yeah, that's right. So the, 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 thin, the fact that it was so thin was like a major appeal for me. The great innovation with this shoe is compared to the other one, like because kind of obviously we're going off this shoe, it's just simply the sole because it's kind of the sole is a cup sole, but it doesn't really feel like a cup sole. It, it breaks in really fast and it's really it's kind of really thin compared to other capsules, I think. Like that's another thing, it's like this one was cool because it was so like easy to break in, thin, and you can feel your board, and I feel it still has that, like this, that still feels very true to it, but it also, the silhouette, we didn't have to add anything or take too much away, other than like just improvements, like putting in the, the sock liner, which doesn't take away from it, yeah, or add probably. too much to it, that adding a capsule, which you would think would add to it, but it really doesn't, it just, it's because it's such a good yeah. capsule that you came up with. It's just trying to match the aesthetic of this, like the cleanliness of it, in terms of like the lines and like what's on there, but you get the added support of like having it be a capsule yeah. and it's a little bit, you know. And then like a lot of just based on, I, I think kind of working with you for a while now, just knowing like your taste and stuff, trying to do all the features that are kind of like under the hood and just keeping the outside real simple and clean and um, even having just like a little turned edge here for durability and, you know, swapping out the perfs for this, you know, the stripes yeah. basically to kind of update it and, you know, having it be a little bit more mature looking. A feature for me that I, that I was kind of sticking to was the, uh, what is it, the butt seam or whatever? Yeah, yeah, like the turn, blind seam. The blind seam, yeah, because I feel like that, that kind of, because my, my other American shoe is kind of like a pretty, it's like a staple in the American line for a while and I, yeah. I feel like the butt seam has a lot to do with it because when I thought of it, it's like, it wasn't, so the shoe can be more durable, so it doesn't, the flap doesn't come, come off, so I kind of thought it'd be cool to integrate that just because it kind of ties back to my other shoe. And uh, and I would say the sole too, like the sole, like this sole, when Paul like first showed me this sole, I was just the way it looks, because it lo it's supposed to mirror a vulcanized sole, yeah, but it's much. not vulcanized and it just, but it has that thin silhouette. And it's just, I don't know, it's like really good, it's cushy, it's, it breaks in really good, it's really grippy. I just think that, that, that that's like a pretty cool, like, for me, it's like the sole and that, that um, what's it called again, sorry? The blind seam. Blind, blind yeah. seam and the, the sole is the, yeah. the, the major, major innovation for this shoe. I think it's probably the sickest because it adds to the cleanliness and just like the, the the neatness of all the lines in the shoe. Yeah, and I think there's like enough little, like you were saying, like the blind seam and even like the, you know, like the herringbone callback. There's all these little callbacks and like the perfs to what this was, but just kind of modernizing it and yeah. uh, making it to like where your skating's at today. Yeah, trying to, to add as much as we can without adding too much, if that makes any sense. Yeah, it's like just the exercise and restraint, you know, and, and yeah. Simple things are sometimes the most difficult to do, but I think things kind of came together 
with this one. And a lot of people have been really stoked on it, like that have seen it at the office, and so that's always a good, good sign. I'm trying to be as simple and significant as possible. <laughs>